How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the very useful data set property on HTML elements in JavaScript. So the data set property allows you to quite easily set and get the values of custom data attributes that you have on your HTML elements. So first we need to define an element to actually work with. So in the body here we'll define a new div. Now let's put some data on this div. We can do this by starting with data and then dash followed by the name of that data. Let's say name equals Dominic. And by this I mean we're defining some data. The data property is called name and the value is Dominic. So my name is Dominic. Now we're gonna make one more and we'll say data started coding at and then 15. So my name is Dominic and I started coding at 15 years old. Let's put some sample text for visuals inside here. All right, so now we've got this div element and this div has some data attached to it, that being name and started coding it. So now we're going to play with this data in JavaScript using the data set property. But first we need to define a, an ID for this div tag. So we'll say ID equals my div. Okay. Inside the JavaScript here, we can define a new constant which will reference that div tag. So we'll say const my div equals document dot get elements by ID and then my div. Perfect. So let's firstly just log out the current state of the data set property. So we'll say console.log and pass in my div dot data set. Just like that. Let's save this, go in the browser, and then refresh. And we see we have this DOM string map object, basically just a regular object. And if we expand it, we get name is Dominic and started coding at is 15. Now what you'll see here is that in the actual source code, this div has data name, but it has also data started dash coding dash at 15. So JavaScript is quite intelligently converting these dashes into a camel case format. So it's quite cool. Now, what we'll do now is we can change the name property to something else. So back in the code here, inside here, we can do my div dot data set dot name equals Bob. And that should change the name to Bob from Dom or Dominic. So if you save this, go in the browser and then refresh, we see we have the new map or the new object and we have name is Bob. Now in the actual source code also, we see that change. So data name is now Bob. Perfect. Okay. Let's do the same thing just for um, the started coding at property. So we'll say my div dot data set dot started coding at and let's make this something like, I don't know, eight years old instead. And that works the same way. Now, you can quite easily also just remove that, that attribute. Well, you can remove the contents by saying my div dot data set dot name equals and then those right there. So leaving that string empty, that will remove the actual, the actual uh, value there. So if we save this and then refresh, we should see, you know, nothing inside here for the name. In this source code, you actually just see data name with no equals and then value next to it. So that's quite, that's quite smart as well. Now to actually remove the attribute altogether, you can use a method on the data set, but it's not currently recommended in this specification. So instead, you can do this. You can simply just say my div dot remove attribute and just pass in data name 
and that works just fine. So if you save this, go in the browser, refresh once again, this time this object no longer contains the name, uh, the name property at all, and same goes with the actual source code. And that is how you can use the data set property on HTML elements in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.